Do you ever accidentally look like Asami Sato? Because I think that that's what's going on here right now. Oops! Hello everyone, Frankie Reese here. Today I'm just gonna be sharing some weird pet stories because I feel like everyone has these and I have... I have some stories for you. We have a track record of just having weird animals, just really strange animals. Oh, it's Meek! Oh, I can show you my kitty! I don't know if you can see her. Meek! Hey, Meek! Hey, Meek! Can you see her? I can't tell because the camera's the other way. Hi, honey! Well, that's me, Mika. She's gonna be featured in a lot of these stories because she's an interesting little kitty. I really wish this cough would go away. I was up so late last night coughing. <coughs> Which one do I even begin with? Well, I guess since Mika just made an appearance, we'll talk about the first day that we brought her home. She's such a well-behaved cat. My room has basically always been kind of like the cat nursery. I am like the cat mom. I am a very, I always have very close relationships with our cats. Cats are very important to me. <laughs> them in my room while well, we're just kind of acquainting them to the house. And um, so I always have to kitten proof my room, which is basically like toddler proofing if not more intense than toddler proofing sometimes. Um, actually, it's a lot more intense than toddler proofing. <laughs> so in my closet, I have just like an open closet. There's like a hole in my wall that has been there since we moved and it leads to the piping because my bat the bathroom is like right on the other side. And so there's a lot of piping and stuff like that that goes down into the basement, which is right below me. It has a it has a a, a pretty sturdy block of wood thing that covers it. And so we brought Mika home, left her alone for maybe five seconds. Note to cat owners that are new, do not leave kittens alone. You know, you just don't do it because they will find things, ways into things that you just could not even conceive of in your little human brain that cats can just get into and they find immediately. I come in and I'm like, where's the cat? Don't really, uh, don't really see her anywhere. What, uh, what, uh, what happened here? I look and then I think, you know, there's that thing in my closet. There, there's, there's no way that she could get into that. Come on. I mean, so I look and the board is open. There's a uh, space enough for the little kitten to get into. And, um, she's in there. She's just in my wall. Literally, li literally inside my wall and there's piping and there's a big hole and so we're all freaking out how are we gonna because cats do not come when you call them unless they know you pretty well and they think that you have food or they want to be pet or something so you can't just be like come here Meek. come here she doesn't even really respond to her name that this is the first day the first day that she was here do eventually get her we discovered that the hole that leads into the basement that she could have fallen through luckily happened to lead directly to a pile of dirty laundry so even if she had fallen she just would have fallen into a pile of dirty laundry granted having a kitten in the basement would be so bad yep This is also the new edition. This is Robin. She will be frequented. Or she will be mentioned in this video. Aren't you, honey? Aren't you, honey? Oh, you're so sleepy. I just took her from her napping place. So she's very, very sleepy. Look at her sleepy kitty. That leads me into a really good story. We had this one chicken named Michael. We had all female chickens, but we always, like when we were kids, we named them like just whatever name. So we have this chicken named Michael who, oh gosh, what are the chicken kinds? I don't, I don't really know breed specific names for chickens, but it's the kind of chicken that has no comb and they just have like a round head and like fluffs, little fluffs on the side. I'll post a picture. And they lay green eggs, literally green eggs. So Michael's missing. And Michael was a very special chicken dog, and we can't find her, which is obviously quite alarming. 
And so we're looking everywhere for her. All of the other chickens are accounted for. They're in their coop and everything. Can't find Michael. Our neighbor comes over, which, you know, we are, we're not, we're not like super buddy buddy with our neighbors or anything. So it, it was an unusual occurrence for our neighbor to just stop by. And he says, um, I think that one of your chickens is in my, uh, my basement window. And we're all like, what? How is that even possible? So my mom goes over and it turns out that there's like this little nook thing in the window that leads to the basement of my neighbor's house where Michael has settled and laid an egg <laughs> in our neighbor's window. He gave us the chicken or we got the chicken and my mom was like, you can just keep the egg because I think that she wanted you to have it. So that egg is yours. I think that's all I've got for now. I feel like there's like a ton more, but I just cannot think of any of them right now. So that'll be all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe if you did. And I will see you when I make another.